Well, hello. If you guys have been watching my channel long enough to know that I did something called Co's Kitchens for a while, figured we could do a Co's Kitchen for Utober and bake and cook some yummy recipes. Now, normally every Utober I do some fall baking, but this year I figured I would switch it up a little bit and share with you guys not just some, I'm gonna share two baking recipes, but I'm also gonna share two savory recipes, two more meal style recipes. So for those of you guys that maybe just wanna, you know, cook up some butternut squash soup, per se, or one of my favorites lately has been, normally I do it with tater tots, but it's, um, I'm gonna make it with smiley face fries today, but it's a casserole, and it's like a vegan casserole that's super easy to make. I figure we have quite a bit of cooking to do today, so I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of a pumpkin spice latte, because I picked one up, I picked when I was picking up ingredients for today's video. Look what I stumbled across. Pumpkin spice latte cold brew coffee from Calif, and it's made with almond beverage, so I'm just gonna, don't mind if I, I do find it a little sweet. I might have to add a bit of coffee to it. This would be a really good coffee creamer. I'm a genius. I think the only thing that could make this better is pumpkin spice donuts. So I'm thinking that we should make that first. Let's see how this is. Oh yeah. That's better. I actually picked up these donut trays a few years ago. I think I got them on Amazon. Basically, honestly, if you were to make muffins or banana bread or anything like that, you can use donut trays. At least I haven't had a problem with them yet. So I'm gonna use the recipe that I usually use to make kind of like a pumpkin loaf, just a little bit sweeter, and then pour them into the donut trays, starting by uh, preheating the oven to 350 degrees. insane. I decided to use that pumpkin latte stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour them into the donut cart or the donut tray and then, yeah, and then pop them in the oven. Little batter test. Oh yeah, those are gonna be good. do is take um, a baking tray and put the donut tray on that just because they are kind of little they're a little flimsy and then I'm gonna bake them for about 15 minutes and then between now and then we're gonna make some soup because what is donuts without soup what an odd combo next I'm going to be making a butternut squash soup so this is my favorite go-to recipe in the fall time and in the winter time I'm a big soup lover I don't know what it is or maybe it's like the salty equivalent of a latte that's kind of gross to think about but True. So I'm gonna use a little hack and I'll be using some pre-cubed butternut squash But feel free to use an actual butternut squash if you guys want to I was just feeling a little lazy I already put the pot over there on the stove So you're gonna want to put it on medium heat add all your veggies and uh, yeah, we'll just keep on I'll keep on giving you guys the recipe as we go
spice donuts. I've never done the sugar glaze before, so I'm curious how that's gonna turn out. Should I just go for it? Should I try them? Oh my God. That is like the most insane thing I think I've ever made, ever. Oh, holy shit. Do I have any latte left? It might be a little cold, but I'm in heaven. I'm actually in heaven right now. Yep. All right. I'm ready for some soup. So I've let it simmer now for about 20 minutes. You can use a blender, which I could use, but I feel like getting a little work at it. So I'm gonna use my masher to mash it all up. Usually this does the trick, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk, and that's pretty much it. This smells insane. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's not fall if I don't have butternut squash soup, so. up apples and put them into a bowl and then we're gonna work on the apple crisp filling so I'm gonna add five teaspoons of lemon juice a quarter cup of sugar or stevia whichever you prefer a quarter cup of brown sugar um, just a pinch of cinnamon all right so in the second bowl, we're gonna be doing toppings, again with brown sugar. This time we wanna do three quarters of a cup of brown sugars, a third of a cup of flour. I'm gonna do another third of a cup of some oats. You can use rolled oats, steel cut oats. Normally I would use like either granola or rolled oats, but I feel like this will do, this will work. Half cup of vegan butter melted. Mix it together. And then all I'm gonna do, since I'm using this dish to bake it in, I'm just gonna pour the topping and then just try and get it as even over all the apples as possible. So once that's done, you're gonna wanna pop it into the oven at 350 for about an hour. So I'm gonna put this in and then we're gonna make our final smiley face casserole. So I actually found this recipe on Pinterest back at the beginning of September and I've made it a few times now and it's been a hit. I'm gonna use a bread pan for my casserole because it's just me eating tonight. I'm gonna start by sauteing some onions and some mushrooms and a little bit of olive oil and then once that kind of sautés in a separate pan I'm going to make the sauce which starts with olive oil, garlic, and flour. part of this entire casserole. So I went with smiley face fries. It's like a smiley face casserole on Utober. I just feel like today is a holiday. We've been cooking for like three hours, by the way. I know this video has probably been cut down, but we've been hanging out for a long time. So now that my thing is layered, I layered the mushrooms, the steamed green beans, the sauce, and then I'm just going to put a layer of smiley faces on top to finish it off. Okay, so the thing I love most about this casserole dish as well is that you could also layer this with like sweet potato fries. You could use, if you have leftover cubes from your butternut squash soup, you could just layer this however you want to, but smiley face fries and taters just kind of make it a party. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven now for about 30 minutes, or just basically until the top gets cooked because everything else is already cooked. So we just wanna cook the fries. And then once it's done, we'll be able to eat. And then hopefully our apple crisp will be done too. So it's getting really dark in my apartment being that it's been almost 30 minutes now. So the apple crisp and the casserole are pretty much done. I'm gonna pull them out, give you guys, cancel timer, thank you. So I'm gonna pull them out and show you guys what they look like. I 
love me a good casserole. And you know, cause life is short, I'm gonna try my dessert. It's like all the good things about apple pie without the crust. I'm sorry for anyone that's a crust lover. So there you guys have it. That was a few of my favorite recipes for the fall time. If you guys decide to cook any of them or bake any of them, be sure to shoot photos. Oh, somebody wants a bit of my apple crisp, I see. Tag me in them if you guys decide to recreate anything from today's fall cooking video. Oh, hello. And aside from that, we'll see all of you guys in tomorrow's YouTuber video. Bye, guys. <laughs>